I apologize if I sound a little bit stuffy today. The school year literally just started and I've already come down with a cold, so thanks undergrads. But for today's video, I wanted to share some more of my pin collection, but I wanted to show my non-Disney pin collection. So obviously, yes, I focus on collecting Disney pins, but I do also like other general pins. With one exception with the collection, all of my non-Disney pins really are souvenirs from places that I've traveled to. I started collecting Disney pins 15 years ago really as souvenirs for my trips to the park, and I think it was either that year or the year after where I started collecting other general non-Disney pins, mainly from places that I've traveled to. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to share my pin collection beyond the normal Disney stuff that I share every day. And I think it's always pretty cool to look at and share some other pins. So actually right behind me on the back of my door is where I keep my little pin board with all of my non-Disney pins. The only ones that I have that are part of an actual collection. I ran out of room on the small cork board that I had them on. So they're in a bit of a makeshift display location right now. And I think I'm gonna start off with those ones. So here is my only actual collection of non-Disney pins. And I think you'll either very easily be able to tell what these pins are or will have no idea what they're from. So these are actually the DFTBA Pin Pal pins from the pin subscription that's going on this year. And so DFTBA, I guess it's kind of really the company or it's the merch store, it's the life philosophy um, from the Green brothers, John Green and Hank Green. John Green wrote The Fault in Our Stars and Hank Green founded and was CEO of VidCon. So they have been on YouTube for a long time. I've been watching them on YouTube for a long time. And this year they decided to come out with a pin subscription and I'm like, heck yes, I like pins, I like subscriptions, and I like the Green Brothers. And because I have these momentarily on my Eat a Bag insert and the cats have been around, you'll kind of also see a little bit of cat hair on this. So I again apologize for that, but this first pin here is a Hankler fish like an angler fish, but Hank has kind of adapted this as part of his signature. This is a giraffe love pin that says DFTBA. Here we have a find your path, which is for the Pathfinder Martian Rover. This one is just a little pennant that says DFTBA. Next is a French the llama pin. That's a quite old inside joke. But here is our little Parisian llama. And this one's just a little pink flamingo that says DFTBA. And then this one here is a little fox and a sunflower that says DFTBA. So this has been one pin for each month of the year so far. And I think the August one should be coming in just a few days. This here is my real main pin board showing all of my non-Disney pins, really my pins for my travels. So I think we'll start at the bottom and work up. I have some Chicago Cubs pins. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if I got those at Wrigley Field or maybe as gifts for some holidays, but this is the 2016 World Series champion pin from when the Cubbies finally won it all. These two pins here are my two most recent pins. They were from my California trip this summer. I have a nice little San Francisco pin that says California on it, and we also went to Muir Woods, so I got this cool Muir Woods pin, and it's actually made of wood. So I thought that was kind of fitting, but also a bit ironic. I did also go to San Diego, and I really wanted a pin from there or from the San Diego Zoo. I saw one when we were midway through the zoo, and I'm like, oh, I'll just wait till the gift shop, and then I didn't see any at the gift shops. So maybe I'll be able to retroactively get some pin from San Diego. Heading a bit upward, I have this Karchner Caverns State Park with a little bat here. This was a state park that's down here in Arizona. I think it's a little bit south of Tucson. Really cool. And I love that it has an actual little slider element on there. Here's another cubby pin. This is actually the Tennessee Smokies, which are the Cubs AA affiliate. I have a Biltmore pin from when we visited there. This is a pin from the San Javier Mission. I think that's also south around Tucson. This is a Meteor Crater pin. 
up in northern Arizona, east of Flagstaff, there is a huge meteor impact crater. When we were driving out to Arizona to move me here, I pretty much demanded that my family stop there since I actually studied impact craters in undergrad. This pin here is from the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum, also down by Tucson. Really cool place. It's like a mixture of a museum, a zoo, and a botanic garden. This is a Montezuma Castle pin. This is for an archaeological site in Arizona. I have a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame pin for when we visited there. A Niagara Falls Canada pin. This is definitely a really old one that I have. A Gettysburg, Pennsylvania pin. We'll move it a little bit over. I have these two pins are from Cooperstown, and I know I got these back in 2004, so this is from the Baseball Hall of Fame. This is definitely one of my favorite pins. I have this Holland America Line Caribbean Cruise because my boyfriend and I went on a cruise this spring break, and on that cruise we stopped at St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands, and then also St. Martin, so I got little pins while I was there. I have uh, an American Museum of Natural History pin, a Statue of Liberty pin, and then I also have a Billy Elliot pin. I got the Billy Elliot pin when I was in New York City, but I didn't see the show on Broadway, but I have seen the touring production like three times. This is a pin from Great Smoky Mountains National Park. I've had that one as well for quite a long time. This one is a Grand Canyon National Park pin. Obviously, you have to have a Grand Canyon pin if you live in Arizona. This is a Hoover Dam pin. I actually got this pin earlier this year. We did Vegas for my brother's birthday. Up here, I have three pins from a Europe trip I got to do while in high school. I have this little Italy pin, a Paris pin, and that one is a Tower of London pin. I have quite a few pins from a Western road trip that we did in 2010. So you can see this one is from the Cheyenne, Wyoming Frontier Days, and I like it that it does actually have 2010 on it because the only time I like actual years on pins is when I have been there at that time and have something to commemorate. Up here is a little Badlands National Park pin. This is a Custer State Park pin from South Dakota. You have your good old wall drug pin. We of course had to stop there. I have a pin from Rocky Mountain National Park. We also went to Mount Rushmore and the Crazy Horse Memorial in South Dakota. And then finally on this lower portion, some more museum pins. This one is from the Milwaukee Public Museum. I have a Shedd Aquarium and Adler Planetarium. My final pins are some more baseball pins and some more year dated pins because I like to get a new pin every year for Cub Spring training, or at least the years that I go there. So back in 2010, we did a spring break trip out to Arizona here, and we got to see the Cubs play in spring training. We also did a tour of pretty much the full state of Arizona. This one is the 2016 spring training pin. I moved out here the summer of 2015, so 2016 was my first time here for spring training. This one was the 2017 spring training pin, and then I think this is one of my favorite out of the bunch, this was the 2018 spring training pin. This board here, along with my DFTBA and Nerdfighter pins, are all of the non-Disney pins that I have. So obviously I have a lot more Disney pins because it's very easy to fall into that collection. And in terms of pins, I really like to have them as collectibles, as souvenirs from places that I've been to because I love souvenirs so much. I love gift stores, but I find that things like, you know, if I buy a t-shirt for a place, I don't really wear it that much. You know, other souvenirs don't really have lastability, but pins you can super easily put on a cork board. They're really easy to transport back from places that you've been to. So I think that they really are some of just the ultimate souvenirs in general. If you also collect other pins beside Disney pins, I'd love to know what type of things you collect because the pin world for sure is quite vast. But thanks for watching!